Hello customization and wallpaper aficionados. If you've come to this video, it probably means you found a nice piece of art that you wish you could have as a wallpaper. Well, lucky for you, turning most images into a suitable wallpaper is a pretty simple process, and I'm going to show you how to do it, or at least how I do it. All right, the first step you got to take is you got to find your screen resolution because you want to have a wallpaper that fits the size of your monitor. So it's pretty easy in Windows, just right click. Go down to screen resolution, and there you go. My, my monitor happens to be 1920 by 1080. A lot of laptops usually have 1366 by 7068, but you just take that number, memorize it, write it down, whatever you need, no problem. Next step, open your image editing program. I use a program called GIMP because it's free and it's a pretty powerful tool. It's not quite as good as Photoshop, but it's a lot more basic, a lot more easier to use, and unlike Photoshop, it's free without having to illegally download it or anything like that. So, the first time you open GIMP, it's not going to look exactly like this. You're going to want to get these layer, this layer box open right here, and that's a simple process though. You just go to Windows, you just go to your dockable dialogs, you go right on down to Layers and open it up. Then you'll get this little box over here, and I'll explain how to do that. So. Now you want to open up the images that you want to actually turn into a wallpaper. I've got two prepared right here. So we've got, you right click on it, and in Windows there's a handy little dialog right here that just says edit it in GIMP. Open it up. Boom. There you go. So now you've got it open up in GIMP. You see, what you're going to have to have most of the time is this nice like character on a white background. That way you can easily just add it into another white background or another monochrome kind of color background. And it's a pretty easy process. And ultimately, you can do anything you want to in GIMP, but we're trying to do the simple here. So, now I've got this character open in GIMP. Now, I want to make a new file, new canvas, and I want to make it in the resolution of my monitor, which will be different, but mine is 1920 by 1080. So, you just put in your width, your height, your resolution, open up a new canvas. Here you go. For all intents and purposes, this screen right here is your wallpaper. So... We want to make a new layer on this. So we go right over here, this little sheet of paper, make a new layer. So now we've got a layer on top of this background that's transparent. Now, you want to go back to your character, you want to copy them, and then you just want to paste them right into your new layer. Now, I could leave the wallpaper just like this. I can move the head around, do whatever you want to. Maybe you want it over here. Maybe you want it over here. And you simply anchor it to the layer, which you got this little anchor icon right here. And just click it, and there you go. Or alternatively, I'm just going to go back here. You can go to layer, anchor layer. That'll do it every time. You don't have to worry about finding the anchor or anything like that. But maybe you don't want it, the head to be that big. So what do you do when you don't want that? So you're going to repaste it onto a new layer. Go over here to the scale tool. So the scale will make it bigger or smaller, but you, you almost never want to make it bigger because that'll cut down on your quality. So I just want to make this smaller. Big important thing right here, keep aspect. That'll keep the ratio of height and width the same. That way you don't mess up the proportions of the character. Now if you want to have it centered, you can look over here at the numbers. And I know that my height is 1080. So if I make it just a little bit bigger than 1080 and scale it, and I can use this align tool, which is just, you don't need to, but it's pretty helpful. And there you go. Right there. Now I've got the character over on the right side, perfectly centered, blends into the background. Everything's perfect. For all intents and purposes, you're already done. You can just file, go down to export, wherever you want to export it. Save it in whatever kind of file format you want to. JPEG, PNG, bitmap, anything you want to. Alright, but sometimes there might be another step added in. So let's go all the way back. Let's try to open up a different picture. Alright, so same deal as before. Just to repeat, hopefully you've learned it. You want a new file. You want to do 1920 by 1080 or whatever other resolution your monitor is. Click OK. Copy your character, 
make a new layer, paste the character into the new layer, scale, scale it down just above 1080. A little professional tip. GIMP isn't the most perfect program in the world, so when you scale things down, it tends to create a, a small one pixel border around the edge of the image that's a different color. It's not right, it's not correct. I suspect that's due to the algorithms or whatever that they use in GIMP. So the way I get around that is I simply make the, the image two pixels, at least two pixels larger than it needs to be. That way, that, uh, that border is never actually seen anywhere. So we can go to the Align tool, stick her right in the middle there, Anchor it on your layer. But now, we've got colors issues here. So, it's easy to fix though. You just use our uh, color picker tool. Click right there on the image. Make sure you're on the layer that you actually want to get the color from because if I'm on the back layer, I'll get white because the background's white. But if I'm on the top layer, I'll get gray. Then you can just uh, fill it in using the fill tool. Pretty simple stuff. There you go, there you have a uh, 1920 by 1080 wallpaper right there. File, export, type in whatever you want, and you're done. It's a, it's a pretty simple process. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps you out. Head on over to uh, the subreddit Anime Wallpaper. We've got plenty of good stuff there. We've got plenty of guys just like myself who uh, make wallpapers like this all the time. It's kind of a nice hobby to have. So, uh, Hope this helps everyone out. Thanks for watching.